Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today I'm checking out the Destex Pressure Free Head Strap for Quest 3. We have yet another accessory video on our hands here from the brand that is pretty much known around. And officially, this is gonna be like the first modification to the headset, cause I have yet to do the comparison video and then additionally, like all the stuff that I ordered alongside it. So today is just an external situation that I got recently, and I will always give feedback if someone needs it. So this deck pressure free head strap is an enhancement method to further your way in the comfortability of your headset, replacing a stock thing with a double knob contraption that fits your head and balances the weight of the whole apparature. I'm gonna show you what I'm currently rocking that you see normally in the videos. This is essentially the original elite strap that Quest 3 released at launch. So far it's not breaking, related to the situation that happened with Quest 2. Very much happy with the purchase and I didn't necessarily feel like I had to upgrade anything more since the comfort sits well with me, even considering the facial interface, but I'll talk about that in the comparison. Let's focus on the star of the video, which is this desktop thingy. Now, in terms of the size, this seems small now, but it really extends to big volumes, because this is the compact version, but you really can just put it in a very long distances depending on the size of your head so it's not like you have a problem to fit a head of a monster and that would be the smallest it gets so I feel like even a child can wear this the installation is fairly simple because you just slide it in and it's ready. <laughs> Which would mean that this is the easiest mod that I've ever tried and there's just no bullshit around you go in and it's done. The purpose of this head strap is to lift the pressure that you can have sometimes on your interface. So it will essentially cap your head with leather on the back, but then adjust this properly to sort of lift everything together and that way the weight is distributed all across your head and hair. Installation fairly easy as well. You lift some limits and then from the top and that's it. <laughs> Mind you, this fits tight even now, like it's not gonna go flying anywhere. Sometimes you'd have the feeling it goes a bit up here on your back of the head, whereas in Elite Strap, from the perspective I'm giving you, you can tell that there are definitely few centimeters that go below the line, so you have uh, quite a different sensation going on. For some times I was confused at which position this strap should be, but I figured it doesn't really matter, just depending on your preference where you want to fit it tightly. Because the most important thing is that it's on top of your head. That's pretty much it. I'm definitely not used to straps like that because they are quite bulky for the plastic use, which I could definitely tell a difference because I'm more a minimalist with my headsets and it feels like you have a whole computer on your head, which technically you do since VR is that. <laughs> At first I was a bit apprehensive about it coming from the Elite Strap, but it really does work, specifically depending on your needs, because I'll go deeper about it someday, but with my current setup I'm very much comfortable, which in Quest lineup is a first. Normally you'd have to modify at least two things to make a relatively comfortable experience, which would be the leather facial interface and then a strap that has padded cushions to mitigate the fatigue you get from having your headset tight. There's like a mental pressure to immediately look out for some more comfortable solutions before even trying the stock ones, which this time around they're actually pretty good. My personal impressions is that whether this head strap would come along or not, my setup would be absolutely the same because I'm perfectly satisfied with it and I literally don't need anything else. But now that this is here, I appreciate what this thing is doing for people who still have problems, then yes, this is good. For me specifically, I don't need it, but also I have specific needs like recording and then traveling with the headset, which with custom designs is kinda hard. The main takeaway essentially from this video is that this strap feels better, is better, and works great for people who still have some issues with comfort. It's just that you won't see much of it on the channel besides this video, although maybe one day that will change if my Elite Strap will manufacture 
function, then this one will be the definite replacement of it. Now from what I see in the email, cause this is a delayed video a little bit, I'll be including some links to this product across different stores of Amazon if anyone will be interested in it, because apparently there's a 10% discount count if you do, but it's only happening across the whole month of January, so you have to act fast. This is not affiliated, I'm not getting paid, I just got this thing for free, which is always nice because this deck was sending me stuff since few years now, and it's cool that this company grows because they offer some quality stuff and I'll be always glad to contribute to this case. <laughs> See you around!